In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to actually go from Ooh. this, a messy stuttery experience, to this, a flat line and a smooth gameplay. Right after a short word from our sponsor. Today's video sponsor is GGG Mall. We're using my SKG discount code leads to a 25% off across several products making a Windows 10 serial key only $16. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and all you need to do is to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, I'm Gameplays. I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. As for today's video, I'm gonna show you how to actually... how to remove or stop the stuttering you're having on your gaming experience. For free. Just do it! There are usually three things that can mess up your computer and actually provoke stutters. The first one is the driver's installation. Your dri you may actually have a messed up driver or Windows installation and that needs to be fixed. Usually on the driver's side you just need to do a clean installation of the drivers. In this case you can use for example DDU, device driver unit installer. Just use it or display, not device, display driver unit installer. Just use it, remove all the drivers that you have there, remove them and then reboot the computer and install the new drivers that you want. Go to the website, manually download the driver installer from Nvidia, Intel or even AMD, just download it, install it and bam, you have a clean driver installation and this alone may fix most of your issues in terms of stutterings and so on. Okay, the second one is actually your hardware. You may have for example a CPU or RAM bottleneck that's causing the issue, the stuttering issue. You may have, for example, a faulty PSU that cannot deliver enough, enough juice for your GPU. Maybe uh, not in terms of watts, but for example, in terms of amperes, I think that's how it's pronounced. It may have enough watts, but it may not have enough amps for each rail. So for each cable of your, um, for each cable that connects to your GPU, okay, and that, may cause issues in terms of stutterings and so on. Usually connecting two cables instead of one cable in daisy chain may also fix those issues. And even things like a disc. You may have an older HDD, the game is running on the HDD and, um, and since the HDD can't actually load things as fast as the game needs to, well, you'll have stutters. So PSU, discs or CPU and RAM bottleneck. Those may be an issue in terms of hardware size. Now the third and final one is basically the game engine or the game optimization. In some cases the game engine is just not prepared to run those high FPS numbers. It happens for example in Warzone, Call of Duty Warzone is one of those games. The engine is just not prepared to run above let's say 180 FPS. If you're running below 180 or below 200 FPS it will most likely be fine 99% uh, of times smooth as hell. But as soon as you go over 200 FPS, the engine just starts just starts crackling and even though you do not have stutters per se, the animations will be completely messed up. So, you'll have stutters uh, maybe on the engine side on real on real hardware so you'll you'll have like frame times uh, frame time spikes and so on and you'll have also um, stutters in the animations and so on so it's a really messed up experience and some game engines just don't like high fps numbers and they aren't prepared for those fps numbers okay so that's the third reason and one that we can also fix of course now what can we do there are several things actually but those i talked about in the previous videos that i showed you uh like the how to fix low gpu usage and how to fix stutters like cpu overclocking ram overclocking uh to check the psu to check the disk and so on i show you everything that you can do in those videos but on this video i'll be focusing in one thing one and it is frame limiting yes this might actually sound kind of stupid to you uh, if you're not much into gaming or if you're not much into hardware, but it isn't stupid at all because, for example, in terms of CPU bottlenecks, 
If you're being CPU bottlenecked in terms of IPC and mostly in terms of core count, let's imagine you have a CPU with four cores and four threads. Uh, and you're trying to run, let's say, Apex Legends, but your CPU is always maxed out at 100%, or at least always over uh, 90%. And that happens because your CPU is running into a low thread count and low core count, and that game needs more than four cores and four threads to achieve high FPS numbers. So the more FPS you want to have, or the more FPS your GPU can actually push, the more your CPU will be pushed as well. Your CPU will run into a bottleneck to a certain point. Let's say your GPU can push 200 FPS, but your CPU can only push 100 FPS at 100%. What will happen is that your GPU will keep producing frames, but your CPU won't be able to actually handle those frames. You may have higher average FPS, but your 1% and 0.1% lows will be crap, and that's why you have stutters. Your frame times, instead of being flatline, they will be without, uh, they will be uh, full of spikes, and that indicates that you don't have a smooth gameplay, okay? But as soon as you limit your FPS, let's say your CPU could push 100 FPS at 90 to 100% usage, or even lower than that, uh, even if you have more cores and the, and the usage does not reach its limits, uh, you may be bottlenecked by IPC or RAM, and imagine that your CPU in either situation can push 100 FPS. Your CPU can push 100, so you go and you limit your FPS to let's say 90 or 80. Even more, 80 will be even better to, um, to kind of mitigate the, um, the fluctuations that may happen, okay? As soon as you do that, your CPU will kind, will kind of have a relief because the CPU won't be as pushed as before, so you'll have lower FPS, overall lower FPS because you're locking the FPS, but the experience will be way, way smoother. And overall the gameplay will feel way better than having more FPS with a stuttery experience. Trust me. Now, how can you do that? Most games have frame limiters inside the game, but I do not advise those frame limiters, as those frame limiters inside the game can actually be shit. So to do this properly, I actually advise you to install uh, the MS Afterburner that comes with a river with a river tunner statistics server, so the R the RTSS, fucking English. So the RTSS and it will give you a flat line. If you have the AMD software, you can also use the AMD Radeon Chill that will add a minimum amount of input latency and you'll actually have a flat line as well. These gameplays that you're actually watching right now are using Radeon Chill and as you can see, it improves the frame times by a lot. And the same applies to RTSS. All you have to do is install, download MS Afterburner install the MS Afterburner, go to the RTSS, Riva Turner Statistics Server, go there and go to the FPS part and put an FPS limit. You can select the limit by game because some games, your computer may be able to run some games at higher FPS than others. It's normal, completely normal. So you can select, you can just open the game, press Control, click on the new button and it will actually let you select in between the applications that are open. So if you're playing, for example, Marvel Spider-Man, it will appear there, Marvel Spider-Man Remastered. All you have to do is click on it and select the frame limit that you want. Let's say, for example, 80 or 90 or even 60. Just select it and you're fine to go with a way smoother experience. And that's how you fix your stutters for free. Thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share this video and as always, if you have any doubts, just leave your comment in the comment section, I will answer you as fast as I can and also let me know your opinion about this method and if it actually works for you or not. I believe it does because it works for anyone. Once again, thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video guys! Woo!